Okay, so after that quite long cutscene, uh, we have a couple of things to show you. Mario and Yoshi. Obviously exclusive to the uh, GameCube Twin Snakes. Yay, five up. And of course... Yeah. Yep. GameCube with a wave bird. And the GameCube dashboard. If you can call it that. <laughs> and then just a generic computer. Yes. So that is a little nice additions, which are obviously, like I say, exclusive to the exclusive to the GameCube version, to the Twin Snakes. Um, I wish I had a wave bird at the minute, actually, but as of 2011, when this is being created, they're getting quite rare and uh, quite pricey. So, I probably won't be getting one anytime soon, unfortunately. But hey ho, we have another card now, so I'm sure we'll be able to go in at least one more door. We went in there before, we couldn't go in here before maybe, I can't remember. Grab the night vision goggles. Will they come in handy at all? I honestly can't remember. Well, I do know is the more stun grenades the better oh, is it? no we don't need that well do we? do we need that slight bit of ration? nope and I don't need the uh, mask on anymore uh, keep our M9 out and go back up to B1 So, now we need to find Meryl. And the best way to do that is of course to check out people's asses. Hmm. I'm not too sure about this one. Okay. Let's take out this person. And that's Meryl. Cutscene time. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Hmm. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. 
None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. 
This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Okay guys, I will be back in a moment. Okay guys, I'm back. Right, some things that you can do when you're out here, as I've shown you in my Metal Gear Solid original LP, just look at Meryl. What? What is it? Just keep looking. Why are you staring at my... Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Nah, Splash is right. Let's go through the commander's door. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Okay, well, he can wait just a minute longer. What is it, Snake? Be careful, Snake. No, I wanted to save. 
What is it, Snake? And slot B, because that's where I've got my uh, save on this uh, memory card that I, didn't, that I bought, not the official one, the unofficial one. Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. By the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Okay, well, you'd have thought you'd have learned that while becoming an expert in that field but okay I'll be back in just one moment guys okay guys I'm back hopefully that'll be quite seamless okay let's carry on I'm going to the commander's office or the commander's room I should say uh, have a little look around here let's look at Meryl yeah oh, whoa Okay. Well. Got the same time. I like girls, all right. Meryl. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Which is what I'm trying to do. She ain't half laying into me. not your only trick. You! You doubt my power! Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world! No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomantis! That's right! This is no trick! It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. 
You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I see that you enjoy Nintendo games. So, you like adventure games? You seem to like The Legend of Zelda, don't you? You like action games? You've been playing Super Mario Sunshine, haven't you? You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Demonstration is over. <laughs> 